the whole issue of immigration has been thrown into sharp relief by the asylum seeker, Abdul Zaidi, and uh, his, his, if people weren't watching, obviously he was the person who um, made that uh, alkali attack in Clapham before the weekend, and he's currently on the run. He was granted asylum on the basis that he'd converted to Christianity. We've got the front page of the Daily Telegraph here saying that 40 barge migrants are converting to Christianity. We did hear about some asylum seekers uh, claiming uh, to have a, uh, a sexuality that would cause problems for them if they were deported back to their home country. Now it looks like the latest wheeze could be uh, converting to Christianity when perhaps you don't necessarily mean it. I mean, th this is becoming a huge problem. On the specific issue of, of that, that uh, conversion, which is what we heard that Abdul Zaidi did in order to be able to uh, get given asylum, what do you think is going on here? Yeah, I, it's beggars belief that somebody can just suggest that they are changing religion and the Home Office will accept that. So I think the Home Office have got some real serious questions to answer as to why they're taking the word of an individual who looks to be uh, changing their religion quite so Backed quickly. Backed up by a witness freely. from the Church of England. Well, absolutely. But I think that, you know, the Home Office needs to tell us what the decision-making process was. Because prior to converting to Christianity, there was also criminality involved in this individual's case. So if you have been refused asylum twice, your criminality contains sexual assault, I don't think the Home Office realistically should then accept another as, uh, asylum application and for that to be allowed. And I don't think... I think it's a bit of a red herring to say that the religion aspect of it was the deciding factor. Yes, you can always look at religion, and uh, Christians are persecuted around the world. We know that full well. But it shouldn't be the only option you're looking at. So, I mean, you can, this I could be a welcome really, thing that, really that, big questions. that, uh, that migrants are converting to well, Christianity. Obviously, <laughs> word has got round within the Bibby Stockholm barge, and people are hearing the word of the Lord from a, from a different perspective. Absolutely. And it might be a wonderful thing for the Church of England and for society at whole. The Church of England uh, do need more people on their pews. I think that uh, that is always but, going but to they... be said. But I don't think that you can just suggest to people, oh, I'm changing my religion, and everybody takes your world, word as gospel, for example. <laughs> I just don't think you can do that. And, and you're right, we don't necessarily necessarily know whether that was the yeah. deciding factor in the decision to, to grant Abdul uh, asylum, but uh, we've had the Church of England saying, look, it's the Home Office that makes these decisions, it's not up to us, and you've had people from the Home Office saying, well, uh, we have to take the Church of England at their word, and Christians are persecuted in, in some of these countries that asylum seekers come from. But that, We've got a problem here, haven't we? Yeah, but it still doesn't take into account the, the criminality prior to that, and that's what I find most disturbing, is that serious criminality should be a barrier to settling into the United Kingdom. If you've had two refusals against you, why were you not removed in the first place? That, I think, needs to be answered. I think the Home Office needs to front up to that and accept that their mistakes have led to this appalling attack. Both of you hold right there. We're going to actually speaking to a lawyer in just a moment to get, hopefully, some of the answers to things you've just uh, suggested. Claire, Peter, thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of this morning's front pages. And as we've been discussing, the Telegraph says 40 asylum seekers on board the Bibby Stockholm barge are converting to Christianity in order to stay in the country.